Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna to show you how to change your transmission fluid in your eCVT trans found the Ford Escape and Mariner Hybrids 2005 to 2012. Now these are CVT trans, so there's no clutch packs in there to drop clutch material and make it actually look dirty, but believe me, that fluid is breaking down over time with all the heat cycles and it's not protecting all those critical wear areas inside the transmission. In CVT transmissions, the most common concern is bearing noise from breaking down because no one changes the fluid in them. So you want to change the fluid in these every 60,000 miles or so to renew that additive package and protect all those critical wear areas inside of there. Now the procedure only takes about 15 minutes. There's no special tools required. You don't need to jack the vehicle up. There's no special fluid required. So it's a very simple, cheap process. And today we're going to show you how. Okay, first step, we're going to remove the splash shield here from the driver's side front. There's a bunch of 10 mil bolts all the way around holding it in, and then it simply falls out of the way, just like that, okay? And that's going to expose the transmission underneath here. It's very easy to get to the fill and the drain plugs on here, so it's a very easy uh, maintenance process for these transmissions. All right, next we're gonna get our drain bucket underneath the drain plug back here, it's gonna shoot out at an angle, so be ready for that. But first, you wanna clean around the drain plug and especially the fill plug over here. I like to use a bit, little bit of brake clean, clean any grease, dirt, stuff like that around it. Get it out of there. And you wipe it down real quick. Same thing up here, get it around the area. And then we'll use some compressed air. go now what you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter hex it looks just like that 10 millimeter Allen and that'll fit right into each one of these plugs so what we're, we're gonna do first is we're going to open the fill plug get some air coming into the transmission here we're gonna spin it and we're gonna get that out of the way now the fluid might leak out of here just a little bit, like you see there. Now the fluid should be level with the bottom of the plug. Now this vehicle is level on the lift, so right now this really should be a slight dribble coming out of here. Not this much, this is kind of overfilled. We should not be draining this much out of the fill plug. So we got that out of the way. Then we can go back here to this plug right here, same thing. 10 mil, and we can open her up. Like I said, remember, it's going to shoot out of there. So be ready for it. Bring in here a little bit closer. There's a lot of fluid coming out of that fill plug. Someone definitely overfilled this sucker. All right. So we should be good to go now. We can take this drain plug out. Woo! This fluid actually looks pretty good. It must have been changed at least once before. All right, now once it's dripped out enough like that, we can go ahead and clean the threads and the ceiling surface, just like so. Get anything off of there. Make sure our plug is clean. You can see it's nice and clean. Our ceiling washer is still on there. We can go ahead and we can just put it back in. You don't need to change the washer. No thread sealant required, nothing. It's real nice. Now the torque spec on here is 30 foot pounds. So if you don't have a torque wrench, what you can do is just get your 3 8 ratchet like that, a regular size 3 8 ratchet, and just kind of grab it closer to the head up here. And then you just tighten it. And that'll get you close without breaking the case. You can kind of feel when it dead stops. For the heck of it, we're going to torque it down with this torque wrench and see what we get. So I'll put it on 30. I'll put it on here, see what we get. 
so it moved just a little bit more. So we're pretty darn close just using uh, a regular ratchet like that. All right, let's go on to the front up there and start filling it back up. All right, now comes the easy part. On the side of the transmission here, we took off that fill plug earlier. We cleaned the area, we're ready to go. We're gonna start the filling process. Now, 2005 to 2008, take Mercon V, which is this stuff right here, regular old Mercon V. Whereas 2009 to 2012, take Mercon LV. So either way, the same process, the same procedure applies. We're going to fill from the side port here until it flows out of here. And then we're simply gonna cap it off with the fill plug and torque it to 30 foot pounds and you're done. There's no checking the fluid level while it's hot or any certain temperature range, nothing like that. You simply fill it cold until it falls out of here and then let it level with the bottom of the threads. So what you can use is the quart size bottles and a little hand pump like this, makes it very easy. I'll link to it down below. It's like seven bucks for that little pump. I'm going to use an electric pump and we're simply gonna stick this in here. We're gonna fill it again until it drains out. So make sure your drain pan is still down below. We're gonna let it self level. All right, so let's get this in here. We'll get our bottles ready and we'll start filling it up. Looks like there it is. You can see at this point we literally overfilled it and now we're gonna let it self level with the bottom of the threads for this fill plug. All right, so right about there where there's a nice thin stream or inconsistent drip, we're good to go. We can put the fill plug back in. Again, make sure your threads are clean. Make sure the ceiling washer is still on there. And then we can simply Tighten it down to 30 foot pounds. Same thing as the drain plug. Now, once you do that, you can get in here, you can kind of wipe off the excess. And I like to shoot the area that's brake clean just to make sure it's nice, dry, and clean when we're done here. Now, this transmission took around six quarts, six, 6.5 quarts uh, to fill back up. So just as a general reference, get about seven quarts of the Mercon V for 05 to 08 or Mercon LV for 09 to 2012 and you'll be good to go. Clean it up. And there it is. This way, when we go for a road test and come back and check the fill and drain plugs, we can tell if there is actually a new leak or we're good to go because the area is cleaned off. But that's all there is to it. It's a very good idea to maintain this every 30,000 miles. As you just saw, it's super, super easy. One of the easiest transmissions you'll ever maintain in your life probably. Uh, so I say if you own a hybrid, go out there and get it done and make these things last. These transmissions and battery packs and these vehicles can last easily over 300,000 miles if you maintain them. I'll see you next time, guys.